So I'm going to share with you now how to make an onion soup, the broth of which is really healing. And if you know anything about onions, you also know that it has a lot of compounds that are antiviral, antibacterial as well. Um, it's also very healing for the digestive system. Uh, something that onions have a lot of is quercetin. And quercetin is something that is also very anti, uh, anti-inflammatory, antihistaminic. And so uh, this is something that we do every day. For those of us who are on this autoimmune plant-based protocol, it's something that we're doing every single day. So first sign of an illness, I would highly recommend that you do this as well. What it calls for is one onion, uh, five cloves of garlic and uh, turmeric as well as some ginger. This is, well, the turmeric and ginger, this is um, uh, optional. I have some onion peel here. So I'm going to chop this onion up just so that's a little easier. And, you know, I had a friend who got sick with COVID and really bright guy. He's an uh, inventor, entrepreneur, and his, his wife's a microbiologist. And I asked him what, what he did to help himself with the COVID. And he said something that he found to be really helpful was to just chop up onion and have it around his bedside. And I'm not sure if it's the sulfur compounds that it's releasing, but it just seems to make everything smell cleaner. <laughs> Um, I love the smell of onion, and so I can totally do that, but there are some people who can't. And um, I put in two uh, onions here, and uh, but it only calls for one. And then um, five cloves of garlic. I put in some turmeric for the anti-inflammatory effect, and turmeric uh, will become more um, bioavailable if you heat it up and if you take it with a source of fat, but at least we're heating it up for this. And then ginger. All right, so we put in five cups of water and then we're gonna heat this up. You could also add some potato if you'd like, but if you are sensitive to nightshades, you might not want to. You might wanna start out with this and just see how you do with this broth. This is something that you're not gonna be eating the actual um, veggies in it. You're just going to be drinking the broth every evening. If you drink it in place of your evening meal, that would be good. Um, or you can drink it throughout the day, kind of like a tea. And um, I like to use real salts instead of uh, refined salts. I think that when you use salt that hasn't been refined of its other minerals, it's a great way to get these minerals back into the body. Well, I hope that's helpful. And uh, I hope that the next time when you're feeling sick, uh, if you're feeling like your digestive system needs a little bit of help, uh, try this. This is one of the first things that we recommend that people do.